Welcome to my workbench. I'm Nick, and today we are going to be fixing this toaster. I will now demonstrate the problem that we are having with these two pieces of bread. I'm going to plug in the toaster here, the cord reaches. Alright, now, oh wow, that's a short cord. I'm going to insert these two pieces of bread. And I'm going to press down on the lever here, but it does not stay down. See, that's, that's an issue. Because in order to toast my bread, I have to sit here and hold this little lever down. And that's just not going to work. So I'm going to remove my, to my untoasted bread. And we're going to open this up and see what the problem is. So there's this, oh that's nice. There's the crumb catcher which is filled with all sorts of different varieties of bread and some raisins maybe. I think I'm gonna unscrew these sides here. Alright, I'm going to take off the uh, front and the back here, maybe. Oh, okay. There's, there's the back, which I'm not entirely sure I even had to take off, but it's off. And here is the front. Let's see if I can pull this lever off. Oh, there we go. Alright. Okay. So you can see that what the knob turns is this little potentiometer here, which varies how long the bread is toasting. I'm trying to see what keeps it from I'm going up. Oh, I see. There's a little a solenoid in the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that at all. Actually, you know what? I'll take off this circuit board. So behind this circuit board is a solenoid right here. So while it is in the down position, that solenoid is energized and it is attracting this chunk of metal here which holds it down. It shuts off that solenoid and it's allowed to spring back up with these little springs here. So I think the problem that we're having is that it's not actually uh, energized <clears throat> or at least not for as long or at the right time as it needs to be. And I, I think I see that one of these little switches here is all bent out of whack. Uh, so maybe just straightening that out will fix the problem. So what I have done is with a pair of needle nose pliers I was able to straighten out this one contact so it was you know just like this one. So hopefully now when you press down on this, this little plastic wedge will make it so that it, it contacts properly.
finishing touch. I think he goes on this way. Alright. I'm going to test it by plugging it in. I'm going to put my pieces of bread in here. And I'm going to press down the thing. And there it stays. So now the heater coils inside there are heating up. And obviously the lever is staying down on its own and I'm not, not pressing it, so that's cool. So now I guess we'll just uh, wait until this bread is toasted.